So this is a situation that I didn't know I would be talking about today, um, and I just heard about it, and it's it's going to be hard to explain. I would mostly post this on my third channel, the YT Punchmaster, but I thought I'd put it here to get a more widespread audience and just put this out more and just try to raise attention to this. Um... A lot of stuff is going on with the YouTube boxing scene, mainly one of Wade Plem. Wade Plemons um, is this commentator and um, YouTuber that has recently um, gone off into the YouTube boxing scene and has showed his mark and has really like brought some great takes and great commentary to these fights. He's always so entertaining. He's always so humble about shit. He is one of the best people I've seen having takes on YouTube boxing. But then all of a sudden, everything went rogue on him. And I just kind of want to explain it and kind of just want to touch on some stuff that really hurts me personally because, I don't know, let's let's just talk about it. So here here's what's hap what happens. Wade Clemens um, got this opportunity way back in um, the beginning of last year to do the Showstar event. He does the Showstar event. Um, it obviously, doesn't go well, but he in he does the promotion in the build up. Everything works out for him, and it gets him to grow a little bit. Then he does Creator Clash. It goes so well for him. He does the commentary. It's a very good time. He's there with Moist Critical and his buddy now Face Sensei. They're having all the sweet time and everything. And then eventually in August, he gets the biggest opportunity of his life to be on Misfits Boxing for the first time. Wade goes on to Misfits and from there he is a regular. He is there for almost every event. He was there backstage in the first fight case I came back to in August and then he was there on commentary ever since Misfits 002, Misfits 003, Misfits 004, Misfits 005. He was there every single time and he was never stopped being entertaining. Everyone loves Wade. Everyone loves Wade. His content is great. It is always straightforward. It is always perfect. And then today happened and it just blew my mind. So Recently, to explain to all the people who don't understand or the people who are tuning in and don't know the situation, KSI versus Jake Paul has been rumored about and talked about for years. And very much recently, there's been a debate on if Jake Paul is ducking KSI or not. And it's basically all stupid and stuff. It's like the whole stuff Jake's team and his fans put on KSI now mixed onto Jake and KSI's fans. It's just this whole back and forth and everything. And basically, Wade and also a guy I love, you know, I know you fuck. Fox the G, I love Fox the G. They both talked about it and said their opinions on it and why Fox had a great take on it too, but Wade had a lot more information. And Wade's information in this video today, which I thought went over very well and I thought it was straightforward, for some reason, pissed off KSI. He calls him a two-faced snake. He can't believe he let the snake in there. He made all this before it deleted. It's just... It's just fucked. And then they have this whole conversation on a Twitter space. Keemstar and... Uh, well, no, Keemstar was a little more neutral. Which is surprising for a fucking 30-year-old dickbag who still talks about, like internet drama like a tween and everything um and mams taylor ksi's manager were kind of well at least just mams was kind of like trying to push on wade and like say what he's saying is false oh. again i'm just again my and i say this in my videos i say this is what my source told me this is what I'm i don't know who your oh. source is what does that mean to me I don't, but I'm, I'm just telling you. Okay. My, my grandma, my grandma just, came, I don't my know. grandma just came back to life and said that it did 75 million. Thing, That's I'm, my not source. The, I'm not in the business of giving up sources. I don't do that. Okay. Well, it, I, I know, but wait, come and on. It, logic, and if I was, speaking, by the way, and I don't mean to do this either, ma'ams, if I was in the business of it, I think people would know a lot more. It's going to no. do more numbers. Who's built that more? Anyway, how fun on Kingpin, Wade? 
Here's the thing. It's his opinion. I mean, there you go. I, I, the re- this is why I was concerned. No, no, no. no. We're not the I'm getting. Again, but from his sources, get this, his sources, just his sources. And recently, Logan has kind of re- confirmed the sources that Tommy Fury and Jake Paul did better than KSI versus Logan Ball 2. Logan, and like, obviously in the video before, I said it was the fifth biggest PPV of all time at the time. Recently... Apparently, it's been brought to Wade's attention and most of the attention of the internet from Logan and some other sources saying that KSI in Logan Paul 2 did only about 400 to 500k pay-per-views, which is 200 less than the Tommy Fury fight did at 750. So that's 250 less, which was shocking, 350 less to 250 it was shocking that it was that low and it it just i don't know bringing that up into the picture though with wade's points about why the fight might not be that big and why jake might be avoiding it it is just to show some type of reason why jake would be avoiding this stuff ksi on the other hand takes this shit way out of proportion and starts fucking it's just and I feel so bad for Wade when he says this. I am. Have I not been the one who's wanted this fight more? We'll put on a, a proper bet that that shit does way more than Tommy yeah. Fury, Jake. A hundred percent guarantee that. It's just fucking. Uh, it's, it's 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 just. It's, I you, the thing is though, you guys act like I want this to be the case. You, you're like, yes, Wade wants Jake to do crazy number. Has, has anybody wanted Jake versus KSI more than me? That's literally. It, fuck. So here, here's the point of this video. Um, can we not be? Can we not be neutral anymore? Can we not be neutral? And we have to pick a side, because if Wade actually got fired for this, it is ridiculous. It is criminal, and it is awful. If Wade got fired for making a video about a topic that has been going on recently and people have been wondering over and over again if this fight was still going to happen in the summer or at least this year and all he has to do is like give the points of why or why not it will and then all of a sudden one of his higher ups takes offense to this and gets so pissed he gets him fired just because of an opinion. And it's not even like some opinion like, oh, Jake is better. It's not even he's Jake, Jake is better. He literally said the same thing Fox did, that they're both not scared of each other. They're both not scared of each other, but this fight is just so mixed. Everything's so in the way. And he just presented a couple points and stuff that doesn't even seem like KSI should get mad about. Bam. So, to sum it up, I stand with Wade, and he did nothing wrong. He is ne- he's never done anything wrong. He's been the most neutral, humble person I have ever seen on this platform. He has done everything in his power to stay neutral, even when he like has a favorite pick. For a fight, he is neutral. He gives the reasons why the other could win. He gives the reasons like, oh, maybe this guy is winning. And it's just... It just doesn't make sense why KSI gets this offended for no reason. And that's basically it. Um, I pushed my documentary trailer to the end of this week because of this video. I want this to muster. I want this to get out there to you guys so you can see it and understand the situation. So yeah, um, anyway, at the end of the day, I stand with you, Wade, and I hope you can get justice. (sighs) Thank you.